Hello creatives, I'm Ari and this is Shamelessly Creative and today I have an art haul for you. So let's get right into it. I'll show you what has arrived. So the first three items arrive from Jerry's Artorama. So we will have items from Jerry's Artorama, Heikala, Maru Vitamin, some artwork from Macho Chick Art, and then some watercolors from Studio Artist Stroke. I think that's how you pronounce it. So we'll have some swatching, and you can see the new supplies that have arrived. All right, let's get started. So one of the first items is artwork by Macho Chick. Macho Chick. Here's her details. It's Joan Daiwa at Macho Chick on Instagram. And I bought two original pieces. She had several of these up in her shop and I couldn't decide for the longest time. So this was the first one I purchased. And this one was a recent one that you'll see in her Instagram. Plant Witch. We're in a, a and it's an original ACO card. And she also included some stickers with that. holographic sticker with her characters. So she has an Etsy shop. I'll show you that information again. Just incredible art and I purchased those to add to my ACO artist trading card collection. She just did just a spectacular job on those. So I have the Golded Open. If you saw my Art Snacks unboxing for August, we had one tube of the Golden Open, which was Cadmium Red Light. That's the one I received. And I liked it so much and how it worked with water that I decided to buy a whole starter set. So this set comes with a large titanium white, and I'm gonna butcher this name, the Benzi Mid Zalone Yellow Light. So this set had the two reds, two yellows, two blues, and a green. And then we have the, we'll just call it Benzi Yellow Medium, Naphthol Red Light, Quinacridone Magenta, Afroquinone Blue, Thalo Blue. And these are the 22 milliliter or three quarters of an ounce tubes, Thalo Green. The set also comes with a thinner. So a 30 milliliter bottle of open thinner dilutant. This set was 32.15. And then I also can add my Cadmium Red Light to this. So I'm excited to learn how to use these open acrylics. They stay wet for a lot longer. If you're not familiar with the open acrylics, go check out go check out the video with the art snacks and see how I use them in last month's art snacks subscription box. And this set was the Color Mixing Modern Theory. If you're interested and love acrylics, this might be a fun medium to try. Get a little bit more extended time to work on a piece over days or weeks rather than your paints drying out right away. And when I used the one from the Art Snacks box, even the next day a larger blob could be reused just sitting out. So 
that was pretty cool. If you have one of those acrylic paint um, extender sealed containers, I am assuming it'll last a lot longer. All right, so those were the Golden Open Slow Drying Color Mixing Modern Theory Colors. You get seven colors of open acrylics. The dry time is much slower than regular acrylics. So that's just the, yeah, so the first row is still a little damp. You can make nice skin tones with this set. So skin tones, you get two yellows, two blues, two reds. I'm really looking forward to painting with these and doing more color blending and seeing how long they stay wet on my palette. That's always been my complaint with acrylics is just the drying time. And they dry so fast before I have a chance to mix colors. I really like some of the skin tones this set made. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad I picked it up. So Golden Open Slow Drying Acrylics, Color Mixing Modern Theory Set. This, these are paints by Artist Joke Studio Simone. She's been making watercolors, I think for a couple years now, but she's kind of changing careers. She made this beautiful palette at the beginning of 2020 and I so wanted it. And it was a limited edition. And she was into paint making and I've just kind of started that path. So I joined her Patreon. I could learn more about paint making, but she's changing careers and gave us a chance at one more set of her colors. That's a really nice way to, to package. It may not be fancy, but oh, so easy. I'm all for ease. Border View is the first color. Look at that nice pour. The North Sea. So when I do these art haul videos and I show you what a nice pour looks like, and then when I show you kind of what a bad pour looks like, this is what I'm talking about. Time and attention went into making these paints. Moreland. Bloodshed. Look at that pour. Oh, it's like beautiful pour. The wall. We'll swatch these out too. And grim gray. Look at that pour. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, I mean, and you can tell, like this one, you know, maybe could have used another little bit, but 
it's so close that and and the pour is so smooth like she really took her time and made those so beautiful we also included dots Ercolano orange Russian green PR 127 Yuvani I think I think some of these are my patron reward Persian red Colathar purple chalk violet chalk blue French lacquer and Indian yellow so that was what was awesome about being a patron was being able to get monthly dots she was going to keep her patreon watercolor going and make colors but i think she's taking a little break as she changes careers so i kind of hate to swatch these out for you if you don't want to have a little watercolor envy i suggest fast forward to the next section So here are the Grim North palette colors. Just some really nice granulating colors. My favorite is that Grim Gray. Just beautiful. And these are our sample the chalk gray is beautiful they're all beautiful oh this one is nice and sparkly with the kind of like a pink the next few items are from jerry's artorama i have the Cezanne. Cezanne. i guess i pronounce it Cezanne. Cezanne. Superior Artist Coloring Pencils. I decided to try these. I love my polychromos. I'm finding a place for Prismacolor. I like the hardness of the, or the polychromos, Faber-Castell polychromos, but I'm liking the softness of the Prismacolor. So let's see where these fall. I'm not going to bother to swatch out the white. So my first, the lead looks pretty centered in the barrel. Some cheaper models tend not to have that. So when you sharpen them, you waste a lot of color. They go by number and not color name on the barrel.
I think it's too early to comment on those. I mean, they're okay. Um, but I need to practice more with these. You have to push kind of hard to get the color out, and I don't like that because that's fatiguing to the hand. So look for further updates on those as I, you know, I'll do probably a coloring page with them and see what I think. But we swatch those out. And the next thing from Jerry's, I have the Dusk Pink Van Gogh, the Dusk Yellow from Van Gogh, Graphite, and Oxide Black. So let's swatch those. So you can get these colors in both the Van Gogh and the Rembrandt. So straight out of the tube, you get this granulating sparkle with the graphite. All right, so if you like Moody's, when you look at the dusk pink or the dusk yellow, it'll say it is PBK11 and PB19. So PBK11 is oxide black. So if you like granulating blacks like this one, it is just mixing this black with PB19 in this case, and in the yellow, it's mis mixing it with PY128, I think. So, and then graphite does the same thing. Graphite kind of makes, so if you have graphitint pencils or Derwent graphitint pans, this is all it is. It's using the color you want with graphite. This is using the colors with iron oxide black. And that's what these two are, is just a mix of iron oxide and a pigment color. So even though, so if you already have watercolors and you just wanna play around with dusk colors, Get an iron oxide to add to your kit. Get a graphite to add to your kit, and you can get some of these nice moody colors. So that's why I wanted to try those colors and get some iron oxide. I plan to make some moody watercolors. I have both graphite and iron oxide pigment, along with some other pigments. And, but I was excited to kind of play around with color so that's why I tried these. Again, these are the Van Gogh. I purchased those from Jerry's Artorama. I think they were on sale for three something each. So Van Gogh is a reasonable student grade of Rembrandt watercolors. All right, and here is the fully dried granulating Van Gogh paints. Look how the graphite leaves this nice shiny bits where the black PBK 11 iron oxide leaves a nice little black granulation on top of your color.
where the silver or the graphite leaves like a silver sheen to your colors. Love those granulated colors. This is the dusk yellow, dusk pink. All right, another thing I picked up at Jerry's. This is called a wipeout tool. So one end has like a, I don't, it's a rubber type tip. Kind of a wedge shape. And then the other one is kind of a rounded point. And this can be for used for clay or for paint to make lines to wipe away paint on something. All right, I am sure many of you are familiar with Heikula's art. I picked up her 2019 lines sketchbook. It's a nice, kind of goes through her process. I really thought it was cute. Kind of her, her sketchbook. I also picked up once. I just love her ink work. And she's one who uses the Roher and Klinger inks to do most of her artwork. I also picked up some postcards. And here's her business card. So if you're not familiar with her, check out Heikola.com or at Heikola on Instagram. She does a lot of um, Instagram videos that show her process. Another artist. Maru Baitaman, also known as Koyamori. Just adorable art. Maru Baitaman on Instagram. And the last item is from Stella. Bialek. She had a Kickstarter for her little creatures. And I'm going to just show you the postcards or prints. Just cute. So I at the Kickstarter of October 2019. Just really cute little creatures. So the Kickstarter was for volume two of the creature collection and I did not have the first one and she was offering that as well. So I have the creature collection one And the Creature Collection 2. Just adorable. So, um, look up Stella Bilek on Instagram. I'll try to leave links below. Let me know if you're familiar with any of these artists and if you like their work. So, I will have a few more art hauls coming up in the near future. This one was a little bit more paint 
and art book based. But I have several more coming up in the near future. So I hope you enjoyed today's content. Let me know below what your favorite supply was and I wish you well. Thank you for watching. So we just hit 400 subscribers. Thank you so much. Couldn't do this without you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Be well. Stay safe. Bye.